Greetings, my fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor. Welcome back to Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Today we're taking a little bit of a detour to start with. We will go back to that uh, dungeon, probably a jail, um, in short order. But uh, first we're going to look back on a couple of hints given to me by some of the viewers. So uh, first off, thank you to uh, Karanagi for pointing out something west of Prospect Town. All you said was that it was somewhere close to the west of Prospect Town. So, um, I went and took the liberty of uh, looking around myself a bit. So, we're right here, in case you guys want to uh, follow along. And I sure as hell did see something. We noticed this, actually, I think in the last episode. There are objects hanging from strings. <laughs> And I think it's probably going to be a bell bearing. The last one was a bell bearing, but you never know. Maybe it's not a bell bearing. Let's shoot it off to see what it's going to be. So, some item drops down there. And we're going to head down and get it. I've already cleared everything in this area. Um, can we survive this fall? Only one way to find out. Alright, looks like we're good. Probably should have healed beforehand. I did kill quite a few blood fiends looking for things. But, uh... String seller's bell bearing. All right. <laughs> we can buy string. I didn't know we have this kind of technology. I don't believe it. Thank you. I'm assuming this was the tip. If there's something else, let me know. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that, that's funny. Might seem like nothing, but I was definitely uh, complaining about how rare string was. Uh, but this solves that problem. So, bell bearing of a horn scent string seller who did not survive the war. So, we can finally sell string, <laughs> or finally buy string. I, uh, I never thought we'd see the day. Okay, uh, so for the next tip, uh, we wanted to, uh, check around the Bonnie Village area a little bit more. So, uh, this tip is from, uh, Disaster? Is that, uh, is that how we pronounce your name? Or Disa Star. I'm not sure. But uh, thank you for the tip. So apparently while I was looking around through the uh, Bonnie Village, I mentioned, ah, it doesn't seem like there's too many secrets here, and then promptly missed the secret. So we're going to uh, have another look around. And uh, I will, of course, uh, as is typical, uh, do this off camera. And uh, I will clock back in once I have found it. So... Well, as it turns out, there is indeed something that's like three meters from the side of Grace, so, uh, classic. Absolutely classic. Let's grab this, see what it is. Bonnie Butchering Knife, alright. Weapon of the Greater Potentates of the Bonnie Village. An outsized butcher's cleaver used to dismember human bodies in the making of great jars stored in the jails. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Alright. I feel like this weapon, or at least something very similar to it, was in the base game. Uh, the weapon that was used by, uh, the Tarnished Eater, uh, Anastasia, I think. Let's actually quickly look. I'm curious, how similar is it? Is it I, I get the feeling it looked very similar, I just don't know what the category is. Here, Sacred Butcher's Knife. It looks the exact same. And it has the same ability? No, the skill is different. Interesting. But there is a connection here. I wonder if she came from the Bonnie Village. I mean, she also, she's using their weapon. She disguised herself as a Tarnished, or as a uh, Finger Maiden, which is hilarious. <laughs> and then, you know, butchered people. For the same purpose? Maybe, maybe not. That is an interesting connection, though. Now you can dual wield them. If you want to be completely ridiculous. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's proceed onwards. Find some more things. Another location, uh, given by, uh, an anonymous tip, uh, a friend of mine, uh, was in the Lamenter's Jail. This was an illusory wall right here. I am sad that I wasn't recording, because I had, I had a moment. 
Uh, I spent a little while searching through this place, uh, and yeah, here we are. It's so it's the the place where you like drop down through the floor, which uh, is basically coming out of that. So as soon as you go out of the place that you drop down, you take these stairs up and head into this uh, door. And yeah, here we have a uh, a door which we use the lower level jail key for so perhaps this adds even more to the dungeon there's two items here that's interesting what do we got here shadow realm rune, shadow realm rune four okay no new lore there but at least a fat load of runes and then there's this and that door is open we've gotten here another whoa okay that's different lamenting visage a stone lantern carved to resemble a lamenting human head the eyes vacantly beaming out light it can be raised up when equipped in the left hand, illuminating more of the surrounding area. Wait, is this like a... Like a torch? But then, like, God of War, the head of Medusa style? Or was it the head of Helios? I can't remember. The one that, like, shoots beams out of its eyes. I think it was Medusa. Uh, what God? That was like God of War 2 or something. Long ass time ago. An unusual expression somehow imparts a sense of contentment. The languid ease... Of one who needs not sight. I don't know. It looks kind of like a... Grimace. Unique skill. Blindfold of happiness. Swing the head while covering the eyes. Unleashing a wail of lamentation. While temporarily making the user of this skill harder to see. To those who seek happiness, blindness is bliss. What the fuck is this item? Hold on. I, <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> what did I just pick up? Okay, yeah, it's it's basically a torch, and okay, and we go like sneaky. How long does it last? Presumably not very long. But what the fuck? Okay, all right. And now it's at done. Okay. I mean, there's at least a nice visual cue for when it finishes. And indeed, this is the other side of the... The the gap. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Uh, can we leave? Yeah, we can still leave. Alright, I will uh, check the, uh, the final hint. So I've been instructed to uh, venture through the woods here. Along the gravesite plane again. Because apparently I missed something here. Fucking jump scare owls. Not gonna get me. So. Not really sure what I missed. Guess we're just gonna look around. Maybe farm some, uh. Animal parts while we're at it. Maybe I should, uh. Yeah, like, I, I really don't know what I'm looking for. Um, whether it's going to be, like, an item somewhere, or an invasion, or, or whatnot. Hidden, hidden boss? It'd also be worth checking the area out at night, if I don't find anything... Relatively soon, I may do exactly that. Hey, it's a good source of thin beast bones. So I can replenish my arrow stocks. The only problem is, is I need, uh... What's the arrow that I need? Fuck, maybe there's like a, a bush or something. That's actually like a person in disguise. Like Bach. Could be anything. Hmm. Uh, oh. Oh. Or it could be this guy. Uh, interesting. So, it's not... Ow. It's not really an invasion. It's just a... an enemy. Huh. Interesting. He's got, like, yeah. Loger the Beast Claw, and he's got the fucking Logan... haircut and chops. This is, uh... Oh, man. I wish I had my shield. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna uh, we're gonna fight like this then, huh? Okay. I need to actually like get onto this. 
If we're gonna fight like this, I'm gonna fight two-handed. He's not staggering. And he's very persistent. Really in your face. I mean, that's how he should be if he's a claw user. Okay, we got a bleed on him. We got another bleed. Please don't kill me. You're kind of difficult to find. Oh, you're gonna chug too, huh? Should use an Albinoric pot. I think I didn't unequip those. My god. Cool moveset. But, uh... A Logan, uh... Interesting. I, I, I wasn't aware that FromSoft uh, did that. Kind of put other characters from other stuff in their games as like a pseudo insert. We'll see if... Does he drop anything? Yeah, Beast Claw. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see if we can get some lore on that. Weapon in the form of a carnivorous beast vicious claws. Used to perform bestial slashing attacks against... Attacks uncanny to humankind. An imitation of the esoteric technique of the Horned Warriors, those who carry this weapon wield it as though they have been possessed by a savage beast. Alright, at least we get some cool lore out of it. Uh, interesting. So, yeah, the, 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 the Horned Warriors that we've seen... All we've seen them do is channel, like, thorns out of the ground. Um, which doesn't tell me too much about what they are. We did get their uh, sword, so, or we got something from the Horned Warriors. I think it was one of their swords. So I, I think I'll read that description again. But there's obviously a connection with the beasts. You know, the beasts are the uh, the tutelary deities, the, the divine beasts that the Horned Scent had, which are obviously a, uh, a major aspect of their culture. Um, but it seems like they can channel individual beasts, kind of in the way that the, uh, like the Crucible Knights channel... You know, dragon parts. Or, uh, fucking... The Black Knight with the, the frog tongue. Which is one of the weirder things we've seen. But anyways, let's look for this horn scent sword. Uh, I think it was a curved sword. Certainly not a dagger. Wait, what is this? Smithscript dagger. Oh yeah, right. This is that we got. Right, a, a uh, throwing dagger. Which is pretty cool and I would like to try that. It's just we don't have the stats to use that one. Um, it's not a curved greatsword. I would have expected it to be a curved greatsword. Horned warrior sword, here we go. The ornamental tangled horns allow the blade to serve as a medium for horn calling. Okay, so the magic they use is horn calling. Invokes tangled horns to cover the weapon's blade. Drive the weapon into the ground, calling up a cluster of piercing horns. It's quite cool. Um, but yeah. Doesn't say anything about channeling the beasts directly, but I reckon the channeling of beasts... Is connected to the crucible, uh, as is the horn calling. Like uh, all of the everything we've seen from the horn scent seems to draw some sort of inspiration from the crucible. The only issue, what is attacking me actually? Just dogs? I guess it's just dogs. I don't know. That sounded louder and more intimidating than just dogs. Not that dogs can't be frightening. Oh, no, wait. It's it's that. Right, right. There's a ghost flame dragon here. Uh, let's deal with it. I'm not gonna summon the giant rats. They will fucking die. What would be a good summon here? Hmm. I mean, Latena is pretty good against these, so let's just find a place where we can put Latena down, and then, uh... The problem is, is I don't think we have a good uh, vantage point here. All right, we are in combat. All right, I'm just gonna drop her up here. Hopefully, it's not coming for me. I think it's coming for me. No, not yet. It's fighting something else. Oh, it's fighting a bunch of dudes. All right, it's fighting like a lot of dudes. Well, if it's fighting all those dudes over there, I am going to start shooting it with poisoned arrows. I don't think this is the right type of arrow for it, but fuck it. Uh, let's unequip the, the serpent arrows, and let's actually equip some halic bone arrows, because this thing's undead. That is definitely not what I wanted to do, but you know what? Sure, now I'm partly invisible. Could have its uses. So, we're going to, of course, keep our distance as much as possible. These are pretty gnarly. 
and we already fought one, so not overly concerned about giving it a fair fight. We have ourselves a uh, Black Knight with a bow assisting us off in the distance, so that's pretty cool. I don't think he's doing very much damage, and these, these uh, Mesmer soldiers are getting massacred here, so it's only going to be a matter of time. Let's not draw the Black Knight's attention. We're friends, Black Knight. We're friends. Is Lieutenant even doing anything? I don't know. I don't think so. Which is... a little annoying. If we get its attention, that's fine. Okay, it's doing something. Alright, the Black Knight Archer is now shooting at us. That is a problem. Yo, you have a big fuck-off dragon right over there. Can you, uh, shoot them? I'm gonna hide right here. Bro. Bro, it doesn't have to be like this. The the dragon's right there. And Latena, what? Oh, now the... Seriously? I, I want to see if she's shooting back. She is shooting back, but she's shooting at that guy. So I guess we got to get rid of him now. Lovely. I need to unequip that item. <laughs> so it is burning through my FP. At the very least, we've got its attention, this guy, so... Latena should finish him off while he's just shooting us. It's just very unfortunate that, uh... This is what it's gonna take. Are you gonna drop anything? No. But we're gonna get some runes from you, so that's cool. Are they just shooting or attacking it constantly? Is it glitched? If it's glitched, I'm gonna kill it while it's glitched. I have minimal interest in fighting one of these fairly. And then this will be the uh, the second dragon that we uh, take out in this manner. <laughs> the Latena doesn't seem to uh, want to attack it. Also, some of my attacks just seem to do absolutely nothing. No, they do something, they just don't do much. Okay, it's active, so I think it's unglitched. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's uh, quickly switch to our horse yak thing. Nope, that's all it's doing, huh? Did it heal? I, I'm gonna try and close in. Okay. This is bugged out a little. No, it's not. It's just not really doing much to it. Or I'm going to attack its leg, but there's a guy down there, and I don't want to draw his attention, so I'm going to attack its wing. I really don't know what's going on, but uh, if the uh, game is going to be this way, like if it was a unique enemy that we've never fought before, I would uh, be a little more upset and probably just reload the area. But, given that this is a reused enemy... Okay, it is now down. I will gladly take advantage of that. Thank you very much. That is some solid damage. It's probably going to break its uh, glitch. No, it's not. Alright, well. Sucks to be you then, Ghost Flame Dragon. For some reason we can't hit it, so... I guess its wings also have some janky hitboxes here. We're getting shot at by someone. Okay. Somebody's shooting us. Who's shooting us? Another fucking knight archer. Alright, yeah, shoot the dragon, buddy. Yeah, but this whole, like, part of its wing is not attackable. And Latena is just useless, so... I don't know what they did with their AI in this DLC, but half the fights that I summon her in, she literally does nothing. She sits there. I think I got one more of these. I'm just gonna stay at a distance. I really don't want to die and deal with this again. Alright, well, down he goes. And, uh, I think I'll happily take on... Alright, Dragonheart and a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Lovely. There's an item there. We're going to take this guy down first. 
It's a Black Knight Archer, so that's interesting. Oh, you have a uh, double-bladed sword, and I'm about to fucking die. Oh, your friend is here. That's great. That's just... Fills me with joy. Alright. Let's so, uh, move. How many fucking Black Knights are there here? So there's at least these three. The, the two that are here right now, and then the, uh... <laughs> the one that we already killed, or that Lieutenant killed. Alright, she's dead. He's dead. Actually, we don't really know. Could be a she. We shouldn't assume that type of armor hides many physical features. Which is good. Armor should. Alright. Oh, perfumer. And yet another Black Knight. Wow, there were a lot of them here. <laughs> Good thing we had Ghost Flame Dragon to help us out against this uh, this boss fight. I wonder if these guys could have killed the Ghost Flame Dragon by themselves. Probably not, right? No, they, they're, they're already way too fucked up. And the Ghost Flame Dragon just glitched out. Okay, repeating crossbow. Mechanized crossbow that has been fitted with a fan-shaped contraption. The metallic piece adds a reloading system used in the execution of a unique battle art. Repeating fire. So, this is like the page crossbow. I feel like we already got one of these. But maybe this is so that we can dual wield them? I'm fine with them giving us duplicates of weapons. I mean, oftentimes they just give us the same weapon twice. No, okay, it was something else. The pulley crossbow and then this thing. So, we have three types of crossbows that are sort of repeating. Uh, this one, by far, looks the coolest, though. This damage is, uh, pretty solid. Repeating fire. Okay, no, I, actually, these don't have kick. They probably just... Yeah, so these just shoot multiple, uh, crossbow bolts. In their very nature. Yeah. This one has a spread fire. That's the difference there. Okay, so this is the conventional repeating crossbow. I think this was used by the, uh, the regular... Um, Black Jail Knight that we fought. Uh, and also the pages. Cool weapon. Um, I might even consider using that. Though we do have the Serpent's Bow, which is... I don't know if we're going to find anything better than the Serpent's Bow when it comes to range attacks. Hold on, what's this? And where is this going? Let's have a look. Uh, it's probably blocked off by rocks. Indeed. How did we deal with that again? We attacked them, right? No. We have to find rocks somewhere. It might be in a, a note in our inventory. Really not sure, though. I like that all of this is here. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Oh yeah, here we go. Sealed Spirit Springs. Look for stacked stones nearby. Okay, so we actually have to find real rocks nearby, so this would be a hell of a lot easier to do if it wasn't dark. Let's go ask these uh, friendly neighborhood bats, see if they found rocks anywhere. Hey, bats! Do you by chance know where we might find a, uh, a pile of root? I was just coming here to ask you guys a question. But, I guess it's this type of neighborhood. Man. Nothing here with leathery wings is friendly. Yeah, come here. I was willing to uh, parlay, but... You guys decided violence was the answer, so... You can reap the rewards of that. Oh, look, more bats. And then a thing. I don't even know what that is. Let's have a look at that. Hi, are you going to come down here? Okay, I'm going to kill your friend. You can come down here now? That your friend is dead? Good. So let me get my shield back. I'm tired of this Lamenter's torch. I mean, it is. 
You know what? It's lighting up the area nice. Fuck it. We're, we're keeping it. Ah, this is the, uh... Though it even, it has a, uh, a spectral thing next to it. That's nice. So that makes it kind of easy to see. That thing looks really weird, but I guess it's fine. So yeah, let's go up here. We'll check out that dungeon a bit later. And this is going to bring us up to... The place we've already been? No, actually, definitely not. Okay. No, we have not been here. Excuse me. I'll get the item there in a second. Smithing Stone 4. Okay. We'll, we'll look around this way. Hi, sheep. It's fine. I don't need to kill you guys. I have plenty of thin beast bones. Moment. What do we got down here? Better not be hands. No. I don't know what's down here, but at least it's not hands. Well. Ah. It's rather dark here. Of a stone grave bird. Just a statue one. I love that the, like, real ones are mixed in with the statue ones. They can do more with, uh, sketchy statues. One of the coolest enemies in, um, Path of Exile are the horrible Kitava monstrosities that are hidden within the, like, very Greco-Roman religious statues of Oriath. And they just fucking, like, come out and they still have, like, a stonework attached to them, so there's still, like, a, a measure of the, the human form of the statue, but then it's just this, like, flesh spider monster. Like, do that. That was fucking cool. <laughs> do something like that, at least. I mean, Path of Exile copied from, uh, Dark Souls with the, uh, the bone wheels and the skeletons in cages. The cage spiders, I should say. You know. FromSoft can copy a bit from Dark Souls. <laughs> With some enemy or Spromsoft can copy a bit from a uh, Path of Exile with some enemy design. How would you guys feel about Path of Exile 2, like a lore run? Like I, I, I wouldn't play it uh, in the same way that a lot of people play uh, ARPGs, which is the very, very like you know grindy type. But just, just playing through the base game, getting the lore, you know, maybe touching up on the end game a bit. So I fucking love Path of Exile 1. I would never say I was good at it. Um, like I'm not really a. Uh, min max do do math to uh find the best possible gear combinations and all that and grind something a million times I, i'm not that type so i wouldn't do that type of playthrough um but to just experience the story because path of exile one believe it or not uh you don't really notice it unless you're looking for it had a pretty fucking cool story all right here we are at a place so let me know um because that game's gonna come out pretty soon by pretty soon, I have no idea how soon, but it's at least in development. Hi, pig. Goodbye. Um, let me know if you guys would uh, want to see a, a Let's Play of that, because I'd certainly be interested in doing it. It would be a different type of thing on this channel, but you never know. You'll probably get a lot of people uh, playing through the game, but not too many delving into the story, I would imagine. Anyways. Um, we have enough to level up, so... I got Dex 60. We got Arcane 65. What else could we get more of? We could get some more... Endurance. We could bring our, uh... HP. Up even higher. It's never a bad thing. Or we could just get more Endurance. But it's only one extra stamina here. So this is... This is gonna give us five extra FP. I'm gonna take a, 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 an upgrade in mind. Because I do use my FP. So, what do you... What does this one say? I abandon here my eye. So what is this place called? Scadu View Cross. Okay. Scadu View. Yeah, I mean, we can view the Scadu Tree. That's for sure. Damn, it looks cool. I said we were going to go into that ruin, but now we're just somewhere else. Um, we probably should go into the ruin, but this place also looks kind of small, so maybe I'll just explore this area, now that I can actually see where I'm going. It's not pitch dark. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I know uh, some of you uh, don't like it when it's super dark, 
I had my lantern out. <laughs> it was just really dark. I couldn't see anything either. I almost ran off the cliff like four times, I think. I definitely need some, uh... Oh, no. I was just testing to see if gravity still worked. This was intentional. It, it works. Proud to say. Gravity is working as intended. Always good to, uh, you know, check gravity every now and then. Wouldn't want to accidentally fly off the uh, planet, right? All right. Okay. You know what? You guys can go. I, I, I made my attempt there, and it failed. What do we have here? Strange rocks. Okay, they look like piles of something. But apparently not. I mean, piles of stone, sure. We've been there. No, we have not. That is a new place. But I don't know how to get down there, so fuck that. Now we're in danger. And I wish you could just pick up the items instantaneously instead of having to wait a couple of seconds. Alright, another stone bird. Or grave bird, I should say. Um, yeah, we'll take this one out. They stagger way too easily, I feel. They could buff this enemy up a little bit. Give it a little bit more poise, given that it's a stone bird. And then maybe uh, the poise that you give to the to the grave birds, you take away from those fucking fire knights. And here is a place we have already been. That is the Morth... Yeah, the Morth Ruins. Okay. But this looks like a way we can get down. Uh, the question is, is how far down do we go before... This is where we came from. Right? Yeah. Also, we can remove this. I'm a, I'm a little bit confused. Spatially, sometimes. That's where we came from. I'll tell you what, we didn't really actually explore that uh, war camp either. All right, th these are the grave birds that we already took out, so I'm going to ignore them. They can go about living their uh, their grave bird lives if they truly have such a thing. However, this looks like something that maybe, just maybe, we can actually like vault our way up. Let's give it a try. This could also just be us dying because uh, this doesn't look very safe. No, uh, well, no, there's, a, there's an invisible wall. In this case, it is an invisible wall. Uh, ooh. Trying to run. These guys are after me. So, oh, we can totally drop down onto that. I say we can totally do it, but actually uh, there's no confirmation that we can, in fact, do that. And what do we have there? What kind of enemy is that? I think it's a... Uh, kind of looks like an omen killer, to be perfectly honest. Let's look at our uh, telescope. Or, I should say, we looked through our telescope. Yeah, that is an omen killer. As is that. Great. Well, down we go. Oh, God. I... Can we just... Press B to exit out of the fucking telescope? Can't tell you how many times I've been killed to that. Anyways, we're gonna get our runes and actually try and make that jump. This looks like a mini uh, dungeon. By mini dungeon, I mean a mini fort. And then there's this broken area that's gonna connect to an area with a lake. So maybe I should do that first. Try and cross that, see if there's a way. I think there must be a way. Can we actually pick up our runes when we move through it? So. so we can't jump up here. And yeah, all right, no, we're not we're not going to be able to cross this cuz this has uh a barrier. So still no way to get to that lake. Like the reason why it pisses me off is cuz you kept press B to get out of your map. Just let B get out of the fucking telescope, too. There's no reason it needs to be that way. 
This is going to be a bit of a, uh, a risky jump to make that, but I'm going to try it. Uh, no. Not going to happen. Alright. I am confident we did that pretty well, and we weren't... Like, we were close, but not that close. So, what is there to do up here, actually? There's got to be a reason for us to get up here, aside from this Sight of Grace and the Scout of Tree Fragment. And I suppose that could just be it, but why put a Sight of Grace up here? This is the only thing you can do here. Right? Or is that just me? Expecting more, unrealistically. This is fucking cool looking. With the, with the clouds down everywhere. Oh man. I'm gonna actually, I think, take a screenshot here because this looks way cooler than the one I took off camera. Okay, we're losing the uh, the fantastic lighting though, so that's a bit annoying. Still pretty cool. All right, HUD back. I wish the uh, the lighting, like the times of day, lasted a bit longer in game, so you could make a little bit better use of the uh, the lighting. We've got blood fiends down here too. And there doesn't appear to be a way to get down, so I'm just gonna hug around the edge of this plateau and see if there's a way to go anywhere. There there is a way to drop down. To uh... okay, what the fuck? That's twice now. I'm, I'm spamming Y. Nah, we're not. That, that's not gonna be a thing we can do. Yeah. Alright. I think we gotta go down on this side. Because I think it's gonna still drop us down to a ledge area that is not accessible from below. Question was, was it from here? I don't think so. Though, this looks like it might be survivable. I'm not gonna take that risk of, uh... Tested gravity enough. I think we needed to drop down from here? No. Also not. Where the fuck was it? There was somewhere. Here. This was the place. Can we, uh... What is that? It's, oh, this is the bats. And what is beneath us? The Bonnie Village. Oh. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Alright. That makes sense. Um, and now what? Down that way? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is doable. And then we are in a uh, an area with... This is where the spirit spring and all the bats were. So this just takes us back down. Okay. So I don't know how to get to the Fort Reprimand. So that is the name that flashed up when we fell to our death. So at least we have a name for this place. I just... Don't really know how to get to it, because we got to get to this plateau somehow. We're going to give that a try, but first we're going to properly explore the uh, war camp here. Grab a couple more embers of Mesmer while we're at it, and see if there is something like... We didn't look at what was in this tent, for example, so there could easily be something cool in here. There is just a table. What about in this tent? Where are the Black Knights? Are they gone? So they're just here for the, uh, the fight with the, the Ghost Flame dragon. Uh, interesting. That's not usually how that works in these games, but it's fine. Allows me to explore the area without having to deal with, like, what, four of those guys plus a bunch of other soldiers? That wouldn't have been fun. Am I missing anything? Check around the back of this sarcophagus. And quickly check right here. What was this? Is this the place with the misbegotten? No, this is back to the uh, the Morth ruins. I don't think we missed anything here. I could be wrong. I'm sure somebody will point it out if I am. 
Once again, thank you to all of the people that uh, left hints as well. Also, a uh, special shout out to uh, my boy Tarbaz. Um, you also, uh, I'd already done the uh, the thing that you suggested, but because uh, it was in a later episode that had not yet been released. Oh, we just go through it. Okay. Uh, thank you, nevertheless, and uh, also welcome back to the Let's Play. Also, welcome back to uh, Crazy. And. Uh, yeah, I think you're just starting the Let's Play at the uh, time of recording this, or near the time of recording this, so. Welcome back. Well, we found the lake. And there's a way through. It's good to see some friendly faces. And of course, uh, Vinny. We're also a uh, veteran from the uh, previous series. If there's anybody... I am so sorry, dog! You're in the wrong place. Sorry, I'll, I'm gonna leave you alone. Not mean to do that. I was hoping we'd only hit the worm thing. Can we get down to Fort Rep... Rep... Fuck. Yeah. Yes. This is absolutely jumpable. Awesome. Alright, down we go. Yet another side of grace. And inside a fort. And this episode is probably long enough, as it is. But quickly check around the area before we go into the fort. Or at least this nearby area here. What's this place called? Morth Highway South. Okay. And I did see the gap in the wall that the, uh, the highway right next to the war camp opened up into. I reckon that's going to lead us somewhere. Maybe it's finally going to lead us down into this abyssal ravine. Been, uh... Really looking forward to heading down there. It looks like a lovely swamp area, and I am one of the few people in the entire Souls community that actually likes the swamp areas, so... <laughs> Consider myself excited for it, whatever it is. I don't know if it's going to lead there, but I'm hoping. Because otherwise, I don't know where else to progress. I'm sure we can find somewhere to progress, but... Okay, hold on. Uh, so... Oh, no, it's just gonna lead to here. We'll look through this place. Just in case there's... something of interest in here. Okay, I should actually equip... the severed head here. Just to see if... Maybe there's like a... a bell-bearing pot hanging in here there's not okay so all we have is the uh the blood fiends that are out over there we're gonna check that out but uh i think we're gonna do all of that in the next episode so this might be a bit of a shorter one might be a bit of a longer one i don't know i had to cut and chop the uh everything uh pretty significantly so i have no idea how long this uh, episode is gonna be but i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it do drop this video a like and uh yeah if you're one of the people from the uh, original uh playthrough that's made it to uh this point give me a shout out and I'll, I'll give you a shout out once i uh get to uh um the point in my recording where this episode is out and i can record said shout outs so may have missed a couple of you uh some of you may also be under different names and also youtube studio displays the name differently to me than it does on the actual video itself so it kind of depends on like when I'm looking at it. Sometimes I look at the videos directly, sometimes I look at the comments through YouTube Studio. Because sometimes YouTube Studio doesn't display comments, which is, uh, lovely. Alright guys, that's gonna be all. Catch you in the next one. Ask her or out.